Hi, I'm Chloe, and this is Matt, and welcome to day one of our vlog. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to- What are you doing? <laughs> what is this? This is my spin wheel IQ test. Wait, what are the- what are the numbers? Oh, <laughs> did that actually just come out the window? No way, that's one of the Did windows. you actually just throw a pen out the window? Has that just landed on somebody's head? <gasps> you just look, 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 look. look at that! Oh, it's there! Oh, my days. <laughs> That's so lucky. Do you want to pull that back down? Yes. There we go. So I bought this prize wheel. I don't know how this happened, but suddenly the, an IQ test came on it. I, there's one good one. IQ of a thousand. And That's a hundred thousand. Shit, I'm a, this, this is not even really the <laughs> So really your IQ should be zero. <laughs> but as we know, I'm a genius. Oh wow. I go, I need to see now, don't I? Okay, so IQ's one. Anyway, next part of the vlog. Oi! <laughs> yeah, I have full faith in you. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hard spin. Here we go, 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 here we go. Here we go. You have an IQ of zero! I was right! No, it was meant to do this. Okay. Yeah, but you know what's funny? Is it didn't? <laughs> Wait! What? Shit, there's something we forgot. Hold up. <laughs> Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Step on my beat. Guys, this is a big day, and you're about to find out why it's a big day. So here is a shot of celebration. But because we don't want to get demonetized, it's milk. Semi skimmed. <laughs> but have you washed them? Yeah, just wash them then. Okay, good. Oh my god, this gets me in the Halloween mood, though. Oh no, I got milk on my nipple. Oh no. This not only the first vlog in our new apartment, mm. but it's the first vlog of many vlogs. Wait, what? Of many daily vlogs. Well, well, oh, my days. It's a content overload. We are going to be daily vlogging on this channel. We got some amazing ideas planned, so, you know, if you like... I want to have a few pranks up my sleeves. Oh, I meant to pretend I had any... What? Okay, so as you can see behind me, I'm very sorry about the mess. It's not the nicest thing to look at. I promise you that when we end up getting everything into place and where it's meant to be, we will be doing a proper apartment tour, which will be coming out very soon. But right now, you've got to kind of bear with the mess because we are currently still in the process of <laughs> moving. It, it is... looks pretty dark. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to show. We don't want to show too much. We have got an apartment tour coming eventually. I just said that. <laughs> this, this shows how much he listens to me. No, I was just reiterating what you're saying. Oh, you know, right, okay. Share. Yeah, well done. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I thought you were going to hit me in the face. <laughs> what? Oh, that's a, that's a great start to the vlog. I was just saying to Matt, there, this reminds me of like my old vlogs when I actually first started. I feel like you Good used times. to be in them a lot. I am still in them quite Yeah, but you, know, you are, but like you sometimes go quite silent in my vlog. <laughs> Flashback. Where are the shoes going? I think they're all your shoes. There's no fucking shoes in there. There's none. They should be at the bottom. Where's yeah, they are. Rubbish? Oh, no, they're not. No, oh, is it all rubbish? Oh, we can take that down to the bin. Oh, we got rid bye of Bye bye. Oh. Another bag gone. 16 more to go. We've got to go down to the car because we want to go out to do a bit of shopping. We're going to go B&Q. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go down to the car because we've left quite a few things in there from the move. And we want to get that stuff back up here because... It's gonna look a little bit nicer for you guys when we're taking you in the car with us. We don't nah. want it to look like a mess, basically. Also, I recently graduated. Here's my photo. I don't really like that one, but I do like this one. There I am. Well, I'm in the other one. I know, no, no, I love it. I love that you're in it, but I just don't like me in it. I look a bit strange. Usually I smile like this, but in that one, for some reason, I decided to smile like this. I don't know why. All right, so we've just done a quick run to the car, and I want to show you guys something because I got this for my birthday, and it's up until this point that I've been able to convince my mum, even though it's it's my fucking present, to give it to me so I can hang it on a wall in my apartment. Any Star Wars fans? We'll go crazy for this in three, two, one, boom. It's a Yoda. So this is going up in the streaming room. I'm gonna make out with Yoda. Don't do that. <laughs> so we're trying to do the first wash of the apartment in this new washing machine we've never used before. Obviously we've got this thing and we've got some powder things that looks like protein powder. And we need to put it in here. My argument is just put it in any because it all goes to the same place, right? No, I don't know if it does. Where would it go? Japan? Yeah, it would go there, but it all gets like swirled around differently, doesn't it? That's why there's separate compartments for them. <laughs> I was hoping there was no one in there then. <laughs> we go left. 
We got some stairs. Doors closed. <laughs> Bro. Nothing in kind. Wanna race? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's like one of our first vlogs. It was. We raced this down. was my first vlog. It's losing, lady. I'm not gonna lose. We've gotta go on the same time. You've gotta wait for this to close. close. No, hang on. No, no, what, what, what am I doing then? Go! I'm not moving yet. I didn't press the button. I didn't press the button. Lift going down. That's not Lift fair. Going. He's gonna beat me. Tell him I didn't press the button. He's not gonna believe me. Main floor. He's there. Jesus, you dick. I didn't press the button. What? It closed, it wasn't moving, and I was like, what's happening? I, don't I, yeah, I don't know, because that lift is quite slow. Yeah, but it's not an actual competition, is it? It's a competition between you and the lift, not you and me. But yeah, first stop, we're going to B&Q. B&Q? You know what, I wonder though, why wasn't it called C&R? Why? Why wasn't it called C&R? Oh, I don't know, why would it It's called B&Q, why not C&R? What does B&Q mean? Um, it does mean something. Builders and quirky f I thought the word quirky. What the hell does being cute mean? Maybe it doesn't mean anything. Maybe it's just one of them things that make you think. Oh. It's builders and something. It's gotta be, isn't it? But yeah, I think it should could be C and R. But what does that mean? It doesn't. It's just the letter after each one. R. No, C and R. <laughs> In some countries, this would mean that you and this car are now married. See, a good boyfriend would help. But I think this is hilarious. Here we are, C and R. Basically, Matt wants to get some sticky things to go on the wall that we can put up our photos up and stuff with because we don't want to be drilling into the walls. So we're here to find some of those. So we're gonna have to ask, I think. Right, we're in the pictures and frames section. We're assuming it'll be down here. I can't see anything. All I see is poles. Call me a stripper because all there is poles. We found a potential aisle. It might be down here. These are all screws and things. We're not having much luck here, are we? Is it not this kind of stuff? I think it is. What's that? Struts. That's it? Yeah, that's the one. Three meters, so can we cut them? Should we go for two? No, let's just get the one. I want to make sure they work. Okay. Uh, I thought that's a cock. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, how can I help you? Um, yeah, you want a kitchen? Right here, we got some storage. We got some cleaning. You, you don't want to be a dirty house. And then you got a cock. What? Now I've actually lost Matt and I don't know where he is. <laughs> I don't think he thinks I've seen him. <laughs> I'm naked! I actually can't put this camera down right now because he's literally taken off his pants. How else are you meant to shower? I never knew B&Q had soft scanners. So dope. B&Q was a success. CNR was a success. I can smell this and I want one. How did that happen though? We're driving and I hear a caboose. I look back and you fucking good bro? We are going, going to, to Frankie and Benny's. Frankie and Benny's. Because we're both starving we're and both we have really nowhere started. to go. Legend no one knows to go. Stop. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh damn, they upgraded. They've got glass now. What are the odds glass. that this is completely empty because no logical sane human being comes to Frankie Benny's at two o'clock in the morning? Uh, like two o'clock in the morning? It's really, really cool in here. But Matt was very wrong. It's actually extremely busy. Menu! I'm fancying a salad. I think I spotted our food Wait. over there. I'm very excited. I'm so hungry. I've gone for a Caesar salad, chicken Caesar salad. Matt has gone for, what have you gone for? A spag bowl. So the other sauces. I think we're good. Thanks Thank so you very much. much. Yay! Yeah. That looks really nice. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. Cheers. Thanks. Cheesy garlic bread. Yes. Okay, right. I've asked for, I've been awkward and asked for it with no dressing and with loads of mayo. Oh. <laughs> they just gave me a whole like thing of mayo. I am so excited. Tell me what you think of the cheesy bread. <laughs> Fuck me. I've been taking it. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Burn my mouth off. Let's go. Okay, we've just finished our meal in Frankie's and I am stuffed. Anyway, Matt. It's quite funny because what happened with your meal? So much like pasta. It's a lot of pasta. Eggs. So he's left eggs. like all of his pasta. It's not even all of pasta. I've eaten enough pasta to kill a small Indian tribe. Rate the meal. Four. A four. Mine was a nine. Really? Yeah, my salad was lovely. It's a shame you don't like salad. Oh my god, this car is roasting. It's so warm today. It's literally, I feel like I'm in Spain. Honestly, today feels like Spanish weather. Here's my argument as to why the UK is the worst place on earth to get warm and to get hot like this. In almost every other country, there is automatically <laughs> AC. And Spain has AC, 
France has AC, Italy has AC, Portugal has AC, Poland has AC. Uh, Poland really ain't that warm. Every country has AC. Wanna know where it doesn't have AC? The UK. So when it gets warm here, there is no escape. You are subject to it, and if you don't like it, you get a plane out of here. That's it, that's the only solution. Bonjour. We have arrived. Oh. We're at Mother's house. Oh. Hello. It's a pretty cute dress. I like it. Okay. Right, so one of the reasons why we actually came here is because I want to organize my wardrobe a little bit So I've got a lot of winter things that mum's keeping here in my old wardrobe until winter time So obviously it's currently summer So that's everything by here and then this stuff we're a little bit unaware of what I'm keeping what I'm throwing So we're gonna have a little look through all this kind of stuff now So we've got through the first portion of organizing we've done the clothes and now I'm on to my makeup because I want to take this with me this by here which is kind of like a makeup tidy section just so that i have somewhere to store all my makeup so it's not lying all around the place listen this <gasps> i'm pretty sure yeah this is a jar of glitter look at that i don't know whether we caught that on camera where the nail polish fell on the floor but this is it now it's okay it'll come up eventually <laughs> mum and dad came into the house and immediately the first thing mum said from downstairs was what is that smell i can smell nail polish remover <laughs> there was no hiding it really was there no really no <sighs> you're sat on me sorry one guys before we start jack my t-shirt it was my pajama top and he's stolen it oh, it down. Um, so i just want to start by saying that this is a conversation that i've been dreading to have. I didn't really want to bring it up again. It's something that I just kind of <laughs> want to forget and banish from my memory forever. I, on the other hand, am very used to the situation at this point, so I thought, why not just tell you guys again? We have told already, like, our stream and shit like that. We were uh, evicted. Like sad music people. Yeah, dude. We're, we're gonna condense this story as much as possible because this is a very long story and I'm gonna be telling the full, like, 10 minute version over on my channel. So it starts when we posted a video that did very well on my channel. It was the clown vlog. Someone came to our apartment dressed in a clown costume. We ended up managing to get the CCTV footage. I really hope the security guard didn't get in trouble for that. Um, I've seen I him. doubt it. I literally saw him when we moved out, so I think. No, I'm because fine. the thing is, at the beginning, when we didn't even know whether this was going to be postable or not, we still wanted to view that footage because what? Well, I suppose so. So once we get a hold of it, our building knew what we did for a living. They knew we're content creators. They knew us as TikTokers, but they knew we also did YouTube vlogs. We received an email, which should be somewhere on the screen, basically saying, please don't post the video. We don't want to publicize people coming to the complex that shouldn't be at the complex, essentially, and scaring other neighbors. It was apparent to us that there were people in the building yeah. that did know about our videos Squad. and knew that we created videos. And the last thing I wanted to do, obviously, was scare these people. But our neighbors anyway knew about it because that's how yeah. that was informed. Yeah, and I've seen all of our neighbors since. I've seen every single one. I went and asked one for a screwdriver. Let's show us we're moving out. They're all chill with us. There is no bad blood between any of them. Clogan, you were very nervous nervous very easily when it comes to stuff like this. When it comes to authority, I would say you get a little nervous when it comes to being told off. Yeah. That blog wasn't posted for how long after? It was like... It was a long time. Like I was really against it. Two, three weeks of that being in the edit bay, just sitting there, like a stale donut. It, it then got to the point where I was thinking about my own career and my own monetary gain from the video. So I went ahead and went against everyone in the building when I did post it to my YouTube channel. So it was pretty quiet after that, right? I thought I got away with it. I think it was two months give or take a little bit of time before we heard anything from our building management and when they did email us again it was <laughs> like a list of complaints i'm not even fucking joking it's ridiculous i remember seeing it and i remember my heart sinking because i yeah, always yeah. thought never had anybody actually come to us <sighs> and say Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but can you just keep it down keep a little down, bit, yeah. you know, or something like that. We never had any actual communication with anyone no. that led us to think that we were being annoying or anyone yeah. else could hear us. When we actually got the email through, we were a little bit confused because certain things that were being said on there, I couldn't personally link to being true. And yes. I didn't know whether it was kind of made or accumulated by somebody who wanted to get us out and get us evicted. I think you can see in wherever I've put the email list, you might have to go back a couple, a couple minutes but in there there are some timestamps that say like 
12.30, 1.30. We film her videos in the day, that's obvious from natural light. I film my videos in the day. I film my videos between the hours of midday and five o'clock because any later than that, I'm not gonna get the video edited in time to go live, right? So we don't film at 12.30, 1.30 in the morning. And I know I've streamed on occasion. Those dates don't match up to when I was, when I was streaming. That's pretty much the reasoning behind why yeah. what happened happened. Matt's got the letter with him that was actually posted through the door. We have this in the email version too. It's very basic. Well, I say basic. The notice of termination is the basic part. The rest of it is the parts of the contract that we went against and the part where we had to sign basically to say we're going to leave. This was dated to us on the 19th of August 2022. Tenants, Mr. Matthew Carter and Miss Chloe Priest. You know what's funny? They put my name first. Oh yeah. You are hereby notified that under the terms of the lease agreement dated August 3rd, 2021, the lease for the rent and use of the premises listed above, now occupied by you, that you are to vacate the premises within 14 days of this letter being delivered. This is in reference to the residential property number 33, in accordance with section 1.4 in brackets B of the contract signed prior to moving into the previously mentioned property. Any disturbance to any surrounding tenants or destruction of any property within the premises will not be tolerated. Failure to adhere to the complaints will result in further action dependent on the building manager's decision in accordance with the law. Further activity within the apartment in question, and with no clear action into subsiding the noise and activity coming from 33, will now result in the immediate termination of the lease previously mentioned. The failure to stick by this eviction notice can result in the landlord taking legal actions against you. Any damages, legal expenses, and other overdue will be deducted from your security deposit. Your warrants with the premises are returned to possessions as soon as possible. For any further information, please email or telephone at the attached contact information. Thank you, kind regards. Building management. There is more to this. What happened after we got this letter? The rest of the story will be told on my channel. Though. It's time to go get evicted from this place, am I right? No, it's not. Three for three? Three for three? No. Three for three. It's now half past six, so same time tomorrow night, this yep. vlog should be up and live, which is so weird, because usually my vlogs don't go up until a week or two weeks after they're filmed. Oh, don't say, say anything. <laughs> First daily vlog. We really enjoyed it, haven't we? It's been great. We got a lot of stuff planned, a lot of stuff coming up. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like down below. Make sure to press the notification bell to mm. get notified every time that we upload. Click subscribe. that bell end. Subscribe if you can, if you haven't already. That really helps. Do you hear my thing? Hit that bell end. Right, okay. Bye! See you guys. Bye! Bye. Bye. I look like a limp noodle. <laughs>